Hi guys, Natalie Jill here on Happy, Healthy, and Fit today. We're doing a short workout with bands. I love bands because I love body weight exercises and what bands allow you to do are create a greater resistance while you're still using body weight and you're doing everything functional versus a machine which is restricting everything. It's just adding a little extra resistance. So everything I'm gonna do today, you can do with a band if you have them. If you don't, you can do them without a band, just fully using your own body weight. You're still getting functional training, but without the restrictive equipment because you're using your own body weight, but you're adding resistance by using bands. So resistance bands are a great thing for functional exercises because you're still using primarily your own body weight, but you're able to add resistance without being too restrictive like a machine would do. So we're still training functionally. And you can find resistance bands anywhere. They're pretty inexpensive. I've got two examples here. One with the handles, you can use this type, or even less expensive is just the tubing here comes usually in different sizes. And just by placing your hands in different places, it'll make the resistance more. So there's not a particular type I'm gonna suggest right now, just any resistance band will work. So today, I'm gonna show you four different exercises, two for upper body, two for lower body, that can be done with a band. Now, if you don't have a band yet and you wanna join along, you can still do this with just your own body weight. It's just gonna add that extra resistance with a band. So if you've got it, grab your band, and let's get started. We're gonna start with upper body. And what I want you to do is take your tubing or your band and I want you to put your hands a little bit looser apart because we're not gonna create too much of a resistance yet. And we're just gonna start by opening it up, squeezing. This will really work your back. Watch, squeezing those back muscles together. Squeeze. The closer in you put your hands, the harder it's gonna be. Let's keep going. Too hard, you can always drop the band or you can put your hands wider apart. But, especially if you want to attack that back fat, make this hard. <laughs> Keep going. Always breathing through things. A few more here. Give me two more. Last one. Good job. Shake it out. All right, we're gonna move on to shoulders. So what I want you to do, if you've got the band with the handles, you can step on it here. If you've got the tubing, put one foot down on it. You're gonna hold it, grab the other side in your hand, and we're gonna just push it forward here. Are you ready? Take it up. Working shoulder here. Doing one at a time. And if you want, if you've got the tubing with the handles, you can always lift two at a time or alternate. But doing one with all that resistance is gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Bring it up, feeling it all in that shoulder cap. One thing I love about working shoulders, you ladies will love this, is the more defined your shoulders are, the smaller your waist looks, right? <laughs> so good, work your shoulders, make your waist look smaller. Should be tough, breathe through it. Last two. Good job, shake it out. All right, switching sides, other shoulder. Are you ready? Take it up. Up. And you don't have to use anything here. You can use no weight. You can use the band, make it harder by where you put your foot. Or you can also use a hand weight. When you're doing it, you're working the shoulder here. Going. A few more. Last two. Good job. Shake it out. How are those shoulders feeling? All right. Down two exercises. We're going to move on to legs. So if you've got the tubing or if you have the band with the handles, we're going to tie it around our legs down by our calves. You want to make it somewhat tight because you want to create that resistance. Just tying it here. Got a double knot with the band. Okay, this one is harder than it looks. <laughs> so make sure you're doing it with me and you're not just watching me because you wanna get results here. So all we're gonna do, you're gonna squat down slightly and we're gonna step open and tap. You ready? All right, open and tap. Little steps. And here's where you're gonna really feel this in those glutes. You should feel this in those glutes all the way. Tap, little steps. 
This one's tough. <laughs> now the lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. So bring it down lower, lower, squeeze, work those glutes. Bring it back up. Okay, now watch me. We're gonna start with a little ladder, starting up high, keeping that tap going, slowly bringing it down. Keep going, down, hold as low as you can go, and then bring it back up. Holy glutes, it's hard. Breathe. Okay, you're gonna take it one more ladder. Ready? Take it down. Down. Whoa. And bring it back up. Oh, are you feeling it? <laughs> Definitely feeling that. Ah, they're hard. Okay. All right, good job. Shake that out. Oh, that is hard. Hard. Oh, take it off, shake it out. Okay, last exercise. And we're gonna do this one for the glutes again, lower body. So you wanna untie the band, straight here. We're gonna go down to the ground on our backs. Take it down here, lay down. The band, you're gonna take across your thighs here, securing your hands tight. Holding it here to create a resistance, and we're gonna take it up here to a glute bridge. Are you ready? Is everybody with me? If you don't have a band, you can do it just your own body weight. You can also use a weight on your thighs, or just take the band to create a resistance. Holding it here, you ready? Take it up, squeeze, and lower. Squeeze, now you wanna hold this band tight. Tighter you hold it, the harder it's gonna be. Creating that resistance here. Squeeze, up. Always breathing, digging through your heels. You're pushing up through your heels, drive through them. Working glutes, working hamstrings. You got this. Up, up. Okay, we got two more. Nice job, you did it. Good job, everyone, those are tough. So you have it, four exercises. We did upper body, we did lower body, all with a band. Hope you did great on that. Let me know how you did, comment below. And as always, if you want more detailed help, I've got lots of programs to choose from, but check out my seven day jumpstart program, especially for help with that diet, because we have to unprocess our food diet to get the best results, and that's what the jumpstart's gonna help you do. See you guys next time, bye.